So this video is going to be a bit more nuanced than the rest of the videos because it's going to relate to only a very specific type of person and if you ever get that feeling like you need to run away from things like people certain people scare you certain events frighten you and you feel like you have to retreat you have to escape in this video i'll explain to you why why that happens and how to deal with threats whether it be people who are like your critics people you're running away from things you're afraid to deal with drama maybe people you're scared of now why does this happen why does this phenomena happen basically it's a response that we sort of got once we were little uh, maybe we escaped from something maybe we, we made it lie and that helps helps us escape from whatever happened to us and we sort of adopted this modus operandi of whenever things scare us or don't go the way we want them to go and maybe we have people to deal with we basically try to evade them and not talk to them and not make content contact sorry and escape and just hide basically hide ourselves this obviously goes in complete full contradiction with the mentality of wanting to get attention which is the basis of influence so how do i deal with it and this took me many years of running away from people to learn this has been so hard for me to learn and it took years of, of fail, just failures and, and feeling bad and being shamed and running away from people but I cracked it I cracked the code to solve it the way you solve it is by creating reality with the person that you're trying to escape from now what does this mean let's say that you're me okay you're this famous guy and you know I say famous quote unquote famous because I get recognized pretty much once a day on the street by people who saw my videos and I had some pretty provocative shit back in Israel when I started getting attention and people are like oh man you're that guy from the video and in the past I would escape from that I would I would I would run away because I would be so afraid of the attention but what I learned was that when people want to fuck with me when people are like oh it's that guy let's see if we can fuck with him I overwhelm them with attention so much attention that they start to retreat from me so the person that retreats can never be the person that's advancing forward so I, l I learned that the best way to deal with situations where you're facing a retreat situation is to face it head on with an advanced mentality so the person you're afraid to call you want to advance on them that person that scares you instead of running away from them and creating resistance which will give them the power you want to start advancing towards them and you want to do it as intensively as humanly possible I'll give you an example that happened just now so as you probably see there's quite a big uh, commotion here a lot of people and when I say people recognize me in the streets every day that's when the streets are not crowded <laughs> when the streets are crowded I get recognized a lot because Israel is fairly small especially kind of the center cities that's where all the people that watch my videos are at so I had people I was coming out of the gym and I had people like oh Robbie you know the guy that make the video come here come here and basically I can tell fully well by now because I know when people have like good intentions and when they have bad intentions they, that they want to like fuck with me that they're like uh, oh yeah let's let's call him here and see you know if we can make him react or something so instead of being like oh wait let's not oh let's not come I don't know it's uh, yeah I mean and just come half hour I'm like BAM I'm like yeah what's up and then and then he's like uh well because he was already taken back he's like uh 
Well, uh, the girl here, uh, she thinks you're, you're, she's your fan. I'm like, oh yeah? You want a picture? You want to take a picture? Let's take a picture. So I basically, I, I don't want to make this sound aggressive, but I, I'm overemphasizing this. How I basically, instead of reacting to them, like, oh, uh, you want a, a, so a picture? Um, me, yeah, okay, yeah, uh, anything? I, I basically overwhelmed them with my presence, like, like advancing towards them. And this happened to me in so many different areas of life. And what this does is that it takes you out of this mental fog where you're like, oh my God, what's going on? I don't know what to do. What is this? Oh no. Oh my God. How do I escape? No. Oh no. Oh no. What is he going to say? Oh no. And basically it puts you in the moment and it allows you to fully advance towards that person and overwhelm them. And usually then they start reacting to you and you actually get so empowered you feel so good after because you basically inst took a situation where you would normally react and you actually turned it into a situation where you were empowered so anytime in life uh, we have these kinds of situations again sorry for not providing as many examples as I may have wanted to uh, but anytime you're in this kind of situation remember to always advance towards the things you're afraid of rather than retreat because when you advance that's when you get empowered and you basically see that you're more powerful than that thing that you're afraid of. You can actually overtake it. Nothing will happen to you. It will give you so much confidence and so much bravery to move on to the next conquest. So I hope this helps. Ask me any questions if you have. Subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for watching. One last point I wanted to make regarding the whole uh, retreating agenda. Um, look, just because you feel something, okay, just because something is... You know, there's an emotion in your body that says something does not mean that this is the reality of the situation and this is how you have to act. Just because you think of your girlfriend and you become jealous does not mean you have to act in a jealous way. Just because something scares you does not mean you have to act scared and run away. You can be scared and do it anyway. You can be, uh, something can feel frightening to you and what frightening means is automatically means you classified it as bad. But it can, be, it can feel frightening while actually being very, very beneficial. Maybe the person you're scared of uh, could actually be a person that you should meet. Or maybe uh, just in general, just being scared uh, it's pointless and if you run away because you're scared you'll never actually find out that there was nothing to be afraid of so that's kind of the last quick point I wanted to leave you with it's that just because you feel something it does not mean that is the reality of how it is you can feel something and the reality be the complete opposite of uh, the way you feel so um, you get that by meditation when you meditate a lot you start to get sort of a uh, an elevated perspective of your mind so when you feel an emotion you're less likely to go with it and more likely to kind of separate it like okay there's me and then there's the emotion uh, and other than that just you know being brave taking a lot of action uh, although again these could wind up putting you in the wrong direction so yeah it's, it's just a matter of of uh, having that elevated the ability to elevate yourself above the situation you don't have to meditate to do that but uh, that's the best way I know of uh, because uh, th there's too many situations you can't pre-plan everything uh, but you definitely can uh, be prepared mentally by meditating so uh, yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching one more video for today and I'm done